Number three. I'm alarmed you could in any way promote the shack. This book is full of heresy. God being represented as an African woman? Uh, this one from No Name, Anonymous, of course. It, let me ask you a question, Mr. Anonymous. Is God a white man? Mm -hmm. Or is God a black man? Is God a Jewish man? Exactly. You tell me what God is. In this story, it's a novel, and it's done for, uh, uh, it's, it's a common writing tactic. Jesus did all kinds of parables. I mean, read the Gospels. It's a parable. It's a teaching tool. No, God is not a black woman, and the Holy Spirit is not an Asian woman. Read the book. It's obvious this is a representation to get people, stop, whoa, stop and think. The book starts off, yeah, he first meets God at the shack. God's a black woman. Just simply to strip away all his preconceived ideas about who God is. Strip away all his preconceived ideas about who God is. Strip away all his preconceived ideas about who God is. And this stupidity of making God a black woman is nothing against black people. It's just stupid because he wasn't black and he wasn't a woman. Mackenzie, I am neither male nor female, even though both genders are derived from my nature. If I choose to appear to you as a man or a woman, it's because I love you. For me to appear to you as a woman and suggest that you call me Papa is simply to mix metaphors to help keep you from falling so easily back into your religious conditioning. Religious conditioning, translation, what you read in the Bible about God being male. But... Uh... Yes, I think uh, I'm a grown man, I can do what I want. Uh, I'm a grown man, I can do what I want. Uh, I'm a grown man, I can do what I want. Here's the first words of chapter 6 of this book. Well, Mackenzie, don't just stand there gawking with your mouth open like your pants are full, said the big black woman as she turned and headed across the deck. This is God the Father talking in this blasphemous, wicked book. Then on the next page, the main character of the book, Max, says, Am I supposed to believe that God is a big black woman with a questionable sense of humor? Jesus laughed. She's a riot. You can always count on her to throw you a curve or two. I mean, this kind of just mockery and wicked blasphemy of God making him out to just be a bunch of clowns. Like the Three Stooges! It's, a, it's the Three Stooges! And they say, oh, it's the Trinity. Wrong. The Bible says our God is a consuming fire, consuming fire, consuming fire. Amen. Not some Aunt Jemima that you hang around with in the kitchen that just anything goes. Just cool with everything. And that's what's portrayed in this book. Because I do think it's a good book. I, just, I read it and nine times and we'll read it again if I get a chance. And nine times and we'll read it again if I get a chance. And nine times and we'll read it again if I get a chance. They prefer this fat black mama Instead of the God of the Bible, they prefer that God. Why? Because they don't love God. Right. No one, no one, no one who reads this book loves God if they, if they like this book. You say, well, you say that about Ken Hovind? I don't care who it is. Anybody who loves this book doesn't love God. If the shoe fits, put it on. Amen. It's probably gonna hit, this probably, thing's probably going to make 100 million bucks. Why? Because we live in a country filled with idiots. That's why. Because churches are filled with people who don't love God and they're so sick of this book. They're so irritated by this book and they're just, oh, that God, he's so mean. And just they just don't love Jesus. So they have to make their own fake Jesus because they don't love the real Jesus. That's the real problem. It's just a book. It's just a book. It's just a book. Strip away all his preconceived ideas about who God is. And nine times. And we'll read it again if I get a chance. It's just a book. 